I've always been a traveler. In my early days, I traveled Helmand Province, Afghanistan, looking for food, water, shelter, and love. They were all hard to find, and love was the only one of them that I could give. And it was love that rescued me. I'm still a traveler, but I'm no longer alone. We travel together, and the only things I pack are positivity, gratitude, curiosity, and of course, love. This guy packs everything else. This lady makes sure we get there. And she makes sure we have plenty of pillows and cheese. Together we travel in search of new sights, smells, and places to tell our tale. Because we've learned the value of being stubbornly positive. And now it's our duty to share it with the world. Continuing our westward journey, we said goodbye to colorful Colorado and hello to Utah. Right away, I knew I was going to feel right at home in this beautiful state because of its desert-like climate and its wide open spaces, but I've never seen anything like the amazing rock formations in Arches National Park. We found a remote campsite and sat back to take it all in. I loved feeling the warm ground on my belly and the red dirt on my paws. These are Mother Nature's skyscrapers. Ruby said she couldn't believe I used to live somewhere even hotter than Utah. Ruby's tough, but she isn't crazy about the heat because she's from Boston. We set out to explore the landscape in Tina, our trusty pickup. We love finding dirt roads and seeing what's down them. Sometimes it gets a little scary, but we always end up seeing something awesome. Plus, this guy's a pretty good driver. We only got stuck once. Ruby and Mom made sure we didn't get lost. We all loved exploring Utah, but we needed to keep heading west. Arches and Canyonlands National Parks are the kinds of places that remind us just how beautiful our planet is. Dad kept saying to keep an eye out for the roadrunner and falling anvils, but I'm pretty sure he was just kidding. The only thing I saw was cool old rocks and pretty desert plants. Just outside Vegas, our odometer clicked to 20,000 miles. We'd only had Tina a few months, and we'd already put over 13,000 miles on her. I, I never miss a chance to take a nap on the road. I told Dad I could take over behind the wheel, but he never lets me drive. After a long drive, we made it to L.A. and got to share our story on a cool TV show called Home and Family. Their sofa was very comfy, and they asked great questions. In Pasadena, we spent the day at a library where Dad told our story, and I showed everyone how good I am at napping. It was pretty amazing to see how many people came to listen to our story. We've never been to Pasadena before, but that didn't stop people from spending their afternoon with us. This is Chris, one of our friends and fellow Marines. He's an awesome guy who does a lot for the veteran community. This painting is hanging in our house at home in Maine. We spent the 4th of July in San Diego. It's a great city with awesome beaches. Dad and I did our best to fit in with the cool laid back surfer folk. Our cousin Aaron lives there and he drove us around in his Land Cruiser to all the good surf spots and hangouts. It was awesome to see a new city and reconnect with a family member. In Oceanside, we had a very special day. When we pulled up to a house, I knew exactly where we were, even though it had been years since we were here. It was Mark's house. He is one of my favorite people in the world. He helped Dad sneak me onto the helicopter, and he took great care of me when we were in Sangin. He let me snuggle him whenever I wanted, and he always had some extra food for me. Seeing Mark brought back a lot of memories for me, and I hope he knows just how grateful I am for all he's done. Just when I thought this day couldn't get any better, Dave and a bunch of the other Marines from Sangin showed up. It was a surprise reunion. Dave is the best. He is as tough as he is funny, and I loved hearing him tell the story about how he stood up for me when a mean man kicked me in the ribs. I thanked him by leaving a chewed up bone on his sleeping bag. Away. 
Sometimes I get so excited I just have to jump up into dad's arms. Today is one of those days. We both loved being around all of these guys and remembering our time and singing together. It is our memories of one another that keep us together no matter how far apart we may be. And I'll always love these guys for making me a part of their team and keeping me safe. For me and dad, this day meant a lot. To be back with the guys we shared so much with makes everything we've done since then seem all the more significant. Because everything we do is more meaningful when we remember where we started. Mm-hmm.